Security cameras for your RV, are these right for you? Bobby JB asked just that after spotting them on our earthquake video, so let's find out. If it's not already obvious, we use these for both creepers and critters, and for the most part, they work pretty well. Hmm, seems like we have some raccoons and an inverted skunk? Very peculiar. Looks white with a black stripe. So what brand are we using? These are our Blink cameras from Amazon. They're all battery operated and have motion detection from these little sensors here. But are these really practical for an RV given that they are highly dependent on Wi-Fi? Well, that depends. If you're like us, then you already have a router working full time in your RV. We use this one from Viper Broadband, but any router or internet solution should do. Whenever we plug our RV into shore power, we automatically have internet, well, usually, unless we have to break out Starlink, but that's another video. These cameras work via Wi-Fi, but they have to use this proprietary hub to store their video. A great feature is that this hub runs off DC power so it can plug right into a USB outlet like so. Additionally, we have installed a USB drive that serves as a video backup. The hub is necessary to talk to the Blink servers so you can connect straight into the RV from your phone anywhere and check out the local scene or grab video clips of past events, like so. We also enjoy having this doorbell camera because it keeps an eye on the front of the RV as well as provides a mechanism for campground hosts or other helpful campers to get a hold of us anytime there's an emergency. Oh, excuse me, but, uh, your RV's on fire. Wait, what? For mounting, we didn't want to drill into our walls, so we decided to use this industrial Velcro. It doesn't work perfectly yet. Uh, sometimes it peels off the mounts and sends the cameras careening into the ground, but it does allow us to quickly grab the cameras upon departure and store them safe inside. And one big disadvantage is that the cameras are sometimes uh, very slow to load if you want to watch a live video feed usually taking about 10 seconds or more. And if you decide not to pay the $10 a month charge for the Blink service, then streaming videos from your hub through the internet and down to your phone is excruciatingly slow, almost to the point of being worthless. If you decide to avoid the Blink service plan, it's just faster to go back to your hub when you get home, unplug your storage, and plug it into your phone to see what you missed. Also be prepared to spend some good time acquainting yourself with the interface and getting your motion activation dialed in properly. You can name your cameras, set motion detection zones, so you can ignore those pesky tree branches blowing in the wind giving you false motion detection alerts, and set sensitivity. Nothing too special here. So are these right for you? Well, perhaps. We like them, but your use cases will vary. For sure we like them better than the bulky Wise outdoor camera alternative. Sorry, those are just terrible. Although the wired Gen 3 cameras can't be beat. And we do like getting notifications on our phones when the system is armed and then having immediate access to the recorded footage. So if you found this video helpful and decide to grab a set, please consider using the links in our description below. It throws a few cents our way, but doesn't increase your price at all. It just forces Amazon to share a bit of their profit with us so we can make more of these videos. As always, thank you for watching, my fellow Squatchologists, and we'll see you next time.